Hi, it's Angre Admin here from AngreSysops.com and we are continue our lab series for VCP. So today we are going to create and manage vCenter inventory. Uh, this will be a longer lab, so grab your coffee and let's start. Before we jump to the subject of today's lab, I want to show you my book, uh, which I wrote, uh, Tales from the Shadows, and I will share the link on Amazon to get one. Uh, on this weekend, on 27th, 28th of May, the ebook will be free. So just grab your copy and leave me a five-star review on Amazon. I would appreciate that one. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to know what the book is about, it's a true crime stories. Uh, there's a 10 stories in it. Uh, very interesting with surprising twists. They all are real. And the one story, the first one is about World War One. So if you want to support me anyway, buy the book on Amazon. Again, link will be down below the video and leave me a five star review. Thank you very much. And let's see what we can do in today's lab. <clears throat> so as you can see, there is no, this empty center here. There's no anything here, okay? So the first task would be to create a data center object. Right click on it and select new data center. As you can see, the new wizard window open. We need to put a name here. And once we're happy, click OK. And we have a data center. If we expand, nothing there, because we just create a data center. Now, what we will do, we will add two ESXi hosts to our inventory. To do so, Let's click on data center and we have an option to add host. Let's select add host. And now we have to enter either host name or IP address. So I have a host name. Just remember, uh, you have to have those physical servers connect to your environment to add them to uh, your vCenter. Now, once we put a name or IP, we click next. In this window, we need to put a credential. Uh, this is credentials for host connection, okay? So, I put a username root and password. And obviously, the password is wrong. So I will type in again. And let's click next. Marization. And we can see there are some virtual machines on uh, this host. So let's click next. Now we need to assign a license click next lockdown mode we leave as it is um, but you can apply the lockdown modes here lockdown mode is additional security measure once you turn on lockdown mode which means that your host um, won't be accessible including root user so for the training we leave as a disable click next 
Now, the location. Location is our data center. So let's click next. And there's a summarization page. Once we're happy, click finish. Okay. And now let's see if we can see the host, we can see our host connected. Now, as I said, we need to connect second host. So let's repeat the same steps. Um, add host. Now, the host name, let me just grab it. Okay, no space. Click next, username. And again, I think the password is wrong. Yeah, no virtual machines on this house this time. License and lockdown mode disable also. Um, next and finish. And we can see it's been connecting. Now it's a time to configure an ESXi host as NTP client. All right, so let's navigate to host number two. Okay, and now we click on the configure tab and we go to system and time configuration. Now, can you see this at services? So we will add network time protocol. Okay, and now in this um, box, we need to add NTP server IP address. Of course, it has to be your NT NTP, not mine. So um, don't use this address unless you have the same in your environment. So once you're ready, uh, click OK. And we see that NTP is running. Now it's important to change the startup policy. So the NTP service starts and stops with the host. To do so, uh, we are in the systems uh, uh, section. We just need to go to services and now we need to find NTP daemon D? NTP and now once we select and edit startup policy we will do start and stop with host Click OK and we're done. Next task on our list is to create a folder for ESXi hosts. To do so, let's right click on our data center and select new folder and new host and cluster folder. So we can name it whatever we want lab servers and click OK. Now we need just to drag both servers to that folder like so. And there you are. Yeah. Both servers are in the folder. And the last task in this lab would be to create folders for VMs and VM templates. To do so, we go into VMs and templates icon over here. Just click on it. And don't be afraid as you don't see a data center or our folders. You just need to click this small arrow 
and then you see our data center. Now, if you click over here, you will see our VMs. You don't see our host because this place is for VMs and VM templates. So now to organize, we will create a folder. We click on the data center and we create new folder and new VM and template folder. Now we will call it lab VMs. And this folder will be visible only in this place. If we switch back to hosts, we won't see that folder. If we change to a VM and VM templates, we will see a folder. Now let's move some VMs over there. So let's grab uh, Linux 02, Linux 06 and Linux 04. Okay. So just drag and drop And there you are. Let's see if our VMs are in that folder. And yes, they are. So why do we need the folders? Because we can apply different permissions to folder. So let's say if you have a Linux team and you want to give Linux team ability to power on and off those machines, but you don't want them to touch any other VMs. So you apply the AD group and permission to this particular folder. So as you can see also, those are VMs, but those are a template. So let's organize them. Let's click on it. Let's create another folder. And let's call them lab templates and let's move our templates to the created folder okay and let's check yeah. and now we have all the vms and templates organized um so you can um, divide those VMs whenever you want, based on OS, based on the application, uh, based on the templates, and you can um, go and apply different permissions set. And guys, that's everything for the lab number three in our series. Uh, if you find that informative, please leave a like and subscribe. Also click notification bell not to miss another lab video which I will release soon. Okay, thank you very much and don't forget to buy my book. Uh, in this way you are supporting me. Um, I don't have a Patreonite or I don't ask you to buy my merch or anything else. Just buy my book. Um, the ebook is three dollars or three euro sixty cents, something like this. Not a big deal. Um, it costs you less than a donut or a coffee. Um, the paperback is about ten dollars. Um, so uh, please do me a favor, buy one and leave the good review. Thank you. Bye.